Hi YouTube, Michael again. Just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on how I'm going with my um, batteries. Um, I've been, um, it's been a bit of a delay since my last video so I thought I'd at least get some out there um, and kind of catch everyone up to where I'm up to with my um, DIY power wall. Um, I've seen some of the other projects that are kind of almost finishing which is fantastic or well, kind of getting to that finish line which is great. Um, I'm still kind of under 50% going uh, or done. Um, well under 50 percent uh, with my batteries it's it's a timely process and one of these things um while it sounds like a great plan to start with and you know we'll get the diy power wall going um it's it takes a lot of time um you've really got to have the time and it, it it's um one of those things is that um you start off thinking well this is this is you know not that hard and then you soon realize how much effort that everyone else has really put into to their diy power walls and how far they've got they've come um, so which which is fantastic but one thing you, you learn along the way is that batteries aren't quick and um, and the whole process from taking apart or from getting the laptop battery to taking it apart to charging it to discharging it to assembling it um, is quite a long process even and I'm not even up to the part of soldering or anything like that so um, yeah um, great that all the other, some other projects have um, almost finished um, and, all, and second projects have started. Um, mine's um, getting there. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just show you what I've got behind me. Um, with I'll take the camera off the stand. Right. So this is what I'm up to. Um, these banks here uh, will kind of packs that I've just kind of put together. There's no um, reason apart from stacking why they're in um, groups of 200 but I've got a pack at the 200 at the bottom there um, I'm almost at 200 at the top and if I come around this there you'll see um, I've got another um, 20 batteries to go um, to finish off this so this is 200 at the bottom this will be 200 and then I'll keep going this just the only reason it's 200 at the bottom is just so that I can keep a I keep a tally on where I'm up to um, and what I've been finding is um, my piles down here, if I just drop down a little bit, um, are getting larger. So unfortunately I've got a car right beside me in the garage, so it's a little bit hard to try and get the camera around. Um, this pile here, which is 1000 to 1500 milliamp hours, is, um, is growing. Um, in fact, it's filled the box. So I've got about, where am I with this camera? Oh, there we go. Um, it's filled the box so there's about you yeah, know there we go um, there's about oh, 300 and something batteries in this box it's quite a big box it's one of the boxes I pulled apart in one of my other videos to show to lay out all the, um, the batteries um, so I've got a heap, heap of these and this is just going to keep going um, 1800 to almost 2 amp hours this ice cream card in here is full even though you can't really see um, on the camera um, 1700 to 1800 milliamp hours this ice cream card is kind of half full in comparison to the other ones and I've got a lot of um, 1500 to th um, to 1700 amp hours in fact the ice cream card is bulging over and I've got batteries on the on the ground on the side here um, so these are all going to be usable um, not in these main packs that I'm doing up here but um, they'll be used for, for other bits and pieces but as you see um, while taking apart um, some laptop batteries um, what I've been finding is that not all of them well it's, it's becoming very hard to get a whole good um, bank or batch um, that are going to be used for this pack so a lot of them are going into these other boxes or these other containers down here um, that and in the last few weeks I've been flat out with other bits and pieces and I really haven't had much of a time to, uh, much time to spend on um, the power wall and, and things like that I've been away in the weekends and things like that so slowly getting back into it again um, what I'm making some progress of course um, at the very back here this whole giant wall of batteries back here um, and they go down and it, it's a big kind of the whole back area is covered in those batteries they're all um, they're all dead cells so there's what getting up to probably 500 and something back here that are all kind of dead um, and they'll be put into the bin so pretty much anything under a thousand milliamp hours or one amp hour um, is going in the bin 
um, just there's no use for it um, there's no there's no need to store it so right now it's at the back in there but um, anything that's kind of a, a, um, a thousand to 1500 in this big box here will be used for other projects or other things like that but um, yeah so that's a bit of an update um, and I'll just put you back onto the stand so yeah that's a bit of an update um, I'm glad to see that this pack's almost, this top pack's almost kind of reached its 200 um, and hopefully get um, the next pack started and over the next couple of days um, hopefully we'll get 20 cells um, that are 2 amp hours and above to finish that off by the end of the week. That'll be good, that's the kind of a goal um, and yeah that's a bit of, the, bit of the update for now. It's a long process, things take time and um, I just need to get onto it. I just need to, to stay uh, ahead of the charges now. Um, we're taking apart those laptop batteries. So that's Michael signing off for now.